friends, and welcome. Today I wanted to talk with you about this painting I started the other day. And this painting really evolved overnight. I worked on it for a few hours last night. And I wanted to share what guided me to this result that we're seeing here right now. And really a big factor in how this painting turned out was music. I was listening to some really energetic music and just immersing myself in the music. And I had headphones on and was allowing the music to really take over my body. And I was dancing while I was painting and the, um, the energy of the music was really translating through my movements and the brush strokes became sort of metered and um, searching for the words here, sort of metered and I guess, just, you know, energetically attached with the music. So this was an experience of being transported through the music into my current reality. And that really guided the brush strokes and the way that the painting ended up. So this is you know, this is a really energetic painting and it really was loose and I did not have an idea of what it was going to be. And, you know, now I mentioned this before in my last video that I think it can be really a meditative process to just allow the painting to develop on its own and to not have a preconceived notion of what it should be. And this just got me outside of my mind to such a degree that I was dancing. You know, like I said, I was dancing and just enjoying myself. And I felt so free and really present with the painting too. And that's not something that happens to me when I have an idea of what I'm wanting to paint. Generally, I'm still in my mind, still thinking thoughts. And those thoughts can be sort of a constraint. Um, they can cause anxiety still, you know, I can still be in states of overthinking situations that, you know, don't even have to do with the idea of the painting. And so this is just an experience of being free. And I really, I just love the energy of this painting. To me, you know, it, it, it feels, you know, maybe like it's, it's, it's a loud frustration to just come through. And I mean, I was, I was just with the brush, just, you know, just, just letting it go. And, um, it just, it felt really good. <laughs> it felt really, really good. Uh, it felt like I had, you know, it felt like I was at a party and was dancing. Um, and, um, you know, that feeling of just dancing where you're not even thinking about anybody who's watching you or, um, you know, um, you know, not, not being self-conscious. Um, yeah, and that's, that's really, I think... The main key here is, you know, getting beyond these feelings of anxiety and feeling self-conscious, feeling
feeling like something should be a certain way. Um, dancing has a lot of um, ways that it can be and ways that people know of that it should be. And, um, you know, I've, I've had these experiences dancing and this is, this is actually a really interesting part of dance where, um, you know, say it's just in a club or something like that and there's no structure to it. Uh, however, people tend to notice each other's moves and interact with each other and that's, that's really um, actually, I think, an amazing transcendental experience in and of itself, that um, subconscious connection with other souls and their movements and just, you know, being seduced into these, um, you know, these movements and these dances. Um, and still, though, for me, there are times when I need to get beyond that. There are times when I want to be completely free and I want to see what can come out of that. And so this is the process that I went through to achieve that state. It was sitting down, drinking some tea before I started, allowing myself to become lucid, to detach from the thoughts that I had been thinking all day. And I was feeling stress yesterday, um, a bit of anxiety about my current situation, um, you know, having to do with paying bills, that sort of thing, and making the money that I need to make. I'm currently looking for work and, um, currently building a website for my artwork and also currently considering how to get my artwork out into the world. So I'm wanting to be reaching out to galleries and that sort of thing. Uh, I really am ready to offer my work to the world and feel that I have a lot to offer, both in terms of the trade work I do uh, which is cabinet work, I'm a cabinet maker, as well as my artistic creative work, um, my painting. Um, you know, both are creative, but I've found that painting is really, for me, a true art form. And so I got myself lucid. You know, I had some tea. I didn't try too hard to let go of anything or think about anything. I just sat and looked at this, the beginning of this painting um, that I had made yesterday and took it in, um, you know, spent 10, 15 minutes doing that. And then I put on the headphones and I chose some music that was really energetic. This was um, some post-rock instrumental music. Um, and I really connect with that kind of music on a deep level. It just, it makes me move and it gets me to a place in my mind where I'm outside of thought. And that's, I think, really important to get into this kind of meditative, transcendental, somewhat detached from thinking type of work. And after a few minutes of listening to the music, I started mixing some color and I just let the music take me. And like I said, I was dancing and I was moving my arms, you know, my arms were just, you know, going like, like, you know, just with the music, you know, I was just like psh, 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 with the, with the drum, the drum beats. And with the guitar work, just getting, getting wild and free and, you know, to some, I guess, <laughs> you know, I'm wanting to use the word free and crazy. And I guess that's, you know, that's one of those, those words that's sort of applied to that sort of thing. It's not crazy. It is incredibly freeing and, um, 
It's, it's getting back to nature, you know, being wild. Being in the moment and being present. And this is the result here. Um, I got to a point after a few hours where it felt finished because one, everything felt unified. So it felt balanced. It felt like it had composition, like the colors were in a relative harmony. And also, I couldn't see anything else I wanted to do to it. It felt like more moves I would make with it would be forced. And so I stopped and I appreciated what was there. And I allowed myself to connect with the feeling of joy in that appreciation, with the feeling of surprise. You know, I didn't expect it to come out like this. I had a map of a painting yesterday, an underpainting, and I knew it was gonna be energetic, but I didn't know exactly how it was gonna look, and I didn't know exactly how I was gonna continue to work on it. And I let the music guide me and it was an incredible experience. Like I said, involving dance, these energetic movements, and they have become imprinted in time in this painting. You know, this is now a very powerful memory for me of this experience and you know it can serve as a reminder of how healing this kind of thing can be how transporting it can be how I can get outside of my mind and meditate through this extreme output of energy so I really encourage music, and I think, for me, I find I di listen to different music, sort of depending on my mood. Um, I listen to ambient music, very quiet music, very calm and meditative music, and also this very energetic music which I also find calming and meditative in different ways because it allows release. And that release is what's important. And the ways that release can be needed can be different for each individual. And so I would encourage you to Consider yourself and what you're needing to hear, to experience, what states of being that you're needing to be in, in order to release. And they can all be different. You know, they can, they can be different depending on how, for me, how I'm feeling and, um, you know, maybe, maybe I'm needing to, to release feelings of frustration or maybe I've just been so overstimulated throughout my day that I'm really needing something quiet and peaceful. And both of those experiences can connect me with what I'm needing at the time in order to achieve those meditative, transcendental states of release and getting back to myself, giving myself this gift of joy and connection. And when I allow that for myself, 
I can really move beyond everything that's been coming into my reality without my choosing. And this is something I can choose. And I can choose it consciously. And I can recognize what I need. And I can get lucid before I begin. And all of those things serve me to get back to me, to be me, and to allow me. The world may not so readily allow us. However, we can allow ourselves. And we can find ways where we can subtly heal ourselves and perhaps it's not even so subtle. Perhaps it really is a deep shift and I think that's what I experienced, you know, the polarity of those feelings, this subtle allowing and eventually recognizing that there has been a deep shift. And so I'm going to leave it there for now, and I will be back with more very soon. And I hope this has helped you. I appreciate you. And I do thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you can find your own ways to be creative so that you can be you.